Premier Ford, thank you for taking my call. Thank uh, you. A liter of fuel is about 70 cents in Toronto. It's about the same price in Winnipeg. In Thunder Bay today, it's 96 cents a liter. In Dryden, it's 94 cents a liter. Gas prices jumped by about 10 cents a liter in Thunder Bay this week. Transportation for Northerners is already hard enough because inner city buses have stopped running starting today. What can be done for Northern Ontario residents with these kind of gas price increases? Well, we have our Minister of Energy, Greg Rickford, uh, all over this. It's totally unfair that, uh, you know, you're, you're paying 90 some odd cents in, in Thunder Bay and, and Kenora and other places, but in, in you know, urban areas, you're, you're paying 70 cents. You know, are the gas companies just trying to gouge people? They, well, we're going to get an explanation uh, off the gas companies for this because it's unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. People are, are paying, uh, you know, 20, 30 percent more uh, in Thunder Bay and, and Kenora and other regions. Uh, but we'll, we'll get down to the bottom of this, I promise you. We're, we're already all over this. And uh, there's no better uh, person than uh, Minister Rickford uh, on the energy file. But he's, uh, he's on it, I promise you. Yes, uh, follow up. Across Ontario for Indigenous people, sacred fires are an important part of cer ceremony, of grieving and of healing. Yet under the fire ban, we're being told that Indigenous people can't hold a sacred fire for their spiritual purposes. Can Ontario amend the fire ban for this purpose? Well, I'm going to uh, put you over to the minister that's in charge of that. Uh, thank you very much. <clears throat> Excuse me for that question. Uh, as you know, on April 3rd, we instituted the restricted fire zones and the ban across, uh, across those zones across the province. However, uh, First Nations or Indigenous uh, peoples, if they uh, want, uh, need to have a fire for ceremonial purposes, uh, we would urge them to reach out to their district offices and uh, they can work with them to, uh, to, per to give them a, a permit for that uh, purpose. But uh, I would ask them to reach out to their uh, local district offices uh, on that issue and uh, they are aware that uh, our offices are aware that those requests could be coming. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video and keep up to date on what's going on.